Well, and the other thing too, since this client, if it's the same client that we're talking about, who's doing so good on her homework, have her start watching her thoughts. Honestly, she's got to clean up that negative self-talk. She's got to get rid of, just give her the idea that she's so smart and she has been, and she's adapted. Okay. She's smart and she adapted with character. She didn't go down all of these other da, 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 right? And so now is the time for her to clean up her self-talk and her language because that's the current level of operating system in her mind and it really needs a cleanup. So go over the whole negative self-talk thing with her, catch her on all of these negative beliefs and just gently start giving her the idea that it's her job to do the cleanup it's her job to do the cleanup the world in its nastiness has kind of shoved all this bs in her mind she is revealed to the truth now and so you want her to gently and lovingly watch her own mind and be rid of and the reason i'm talking really slowly is because it's very common when we ask clients to start watching their mind or ask people to start being really honest with themselves they're going to be angry or they're going to be mad or they're going to be like, oh, I did it again. Or they're going to be like, oh, I'm so dumb. I keep doing it. Or, you know, they're hard on themselves. We want to remove that entirely because we want your client to gently watch their mind. And then we want them to clean it up. Be ta only talk to herself the way that she would want to talk to her daughter. That's the only way she gets to talk to herself. And tell her in her most trying when she does this honestly and only talks to herself in a gentle loving way in her most trying moments when she's speaking to somebody else she will speak to them in a gentle and soft way and in that gentleness and softness that's where the answer resides because of the work she's doing she's doing difficult work she's in this inclusion and this is not easy space but she knows that when people get upset that's where everything breaks down so in her own gentleness to herself, she's going to be able to be even better at what she does. Um, and I would help her like that whole thing, right? That's a big piece of work that doesn't have to even take that long. The other thing I would say is um, it'll get better in three days. Like this is a bad habit. Is a habit of thought. It's just a bad habit, just like anything else. We all get into it. These these little bad habits that kind of we pick up over over time, and it's very common that I, I notice this because of the work that I do. I'm a hypnotist. It's kind of my job. We do this additional kind of cleanup that builds up over the course of a life like this. Right. Get rid of the shoulds, coulds. I mean, this is the first like pure negative self talk. I'm bad. I'm ugly. Blah blah blah. Clearly, number one. Number two, get rid of the should. I need to. I have to, I should, all of those have to be replaced with I get to, I get to. Those are like two of the most primary things we want to change. We have a real honor, you guys, because um, it's not common that, that people are actually working with someone to this level, like what's going on in the privacy of your own mind. And so I think that we have such, um, just such an honor to be in this space where a client might not be coming to us for that. But if we notice it, it is just such a, a good opportunity for us to kind of catch, you know, our client will say something out loud to the self in front of us because we're helping them with it. So we kind of get to see how they're talking to themselves, right? You guys notice that we get to see how our clients are talking to themselves. That's kind of the extra work I think we get to do. They might not be coming to us and saying, Erica, help me with my self-talk. <laughs> but if I notice that there's improvement, wow, how much leverage and how much work we get to do right here, kind of at the source where a lot of the problems are just being created. So I, I think looking for negative self-talk and this type of thing is one of the extra things that I like to do with my clients just as a basic thing, just like teaching, um, teaching backward spin or teaching the unwind technique. If there's anxiety, that would be a natural thing to do. So I'm naturally looking for um, this negative self-talk or kind of how they're talking to themselves and trying to get rid of that.